What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another deck profile here on TCG University for the card game Universes. My name is Tam, and today I'm going to be showing you my Katsuki Bakugo deck that I played for this week's Patreon Picks Campus Championship. If you like this profile, make sure that you check out all the other profiles on the channel. Make sure you check out the matches. Um, if you want to see the matches live, go to twitch.tv slash TCG University. And if you feel like it, make sure that you uh, you go and visit us at Patreon, patreon.com slash TCG University. Get, get a bunch of extra content. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and jump into the profile. All right. So if you haven't seen one of my, my deck profiles before, basically what I'm going to be doing is, as opposed to just reading off the cards verbatim, I'm going to be telling you more or less what the deck wants to do. So this deck has a very specific goal in mind. It is to discard as many cards from the top of my deck as possible and trigger this really awesome card called Loser. Loser has a Bakugo response that says, After it enters my discard pile, during the attack enhance step, my opponent loses two vitality. I can't win the game this way. And so if I can take and discard my entire deck into my discard pile, I'm going to make my opponent lose eight vitality for each, uh, sorry, two vitality for each loser, playing four on the deck, so on and so forth. You get, you catch my drift. As well as, I want to have a little bit of a card pool clearing with the response after one of my fury attacks is blocked. Discard it from the card pool. The enhance is fine, but it is not the main primary goal of the deck. I want to have my card pool cleared so that I can play more attacks, meaning I can discard more cards off the top of my deck. Let's jump into the profile. So, the first attack that we're playing is we're playing four Hellfire Impalement. And the reason we're playing four Hellfire Impalement is because it says discard the top ten cards of our deck. I want to see as many cards in my uh, discard pile as possible, as well as this card says for every two check or less, which is the number in the bottom uh, corner, I'm going to be drawing one additional card. And so there's some times where I can discard two losers, discard four two checks, I'll burn you for four damage, I'll draw two cards, or excuse me, draw four cards, and then this is a five high for seven that if you block, I'm going to discard it from the card pool because it is a fury. Up next, we're playing four Let's Party. Another card that says discard the top four cards of your deck. Search for your deck for any card that you want and then add it up to your hand. So the discard could be finding us uh, a really awesome uh, loser into our discard pile. Not to mention this card is also a fury. So if it is blocked, it is kicked from my card pool. Another really meaty six, six low for six, six low for eight if I use the Enhance on Bakugo. Up next, we're playing four Missile Launcher. This card says, I discard the top four cards on my deck. You're catching the real theme here. Uh, this deck gets four speed or four damage. I'm probably going to be picking four speed so that I can give it an extra two damage off of Bakugo. It's a seven low for eight. This card is not a Fury, so if it is blocked, it is not discarded off of Bakugo. Just make sure, make sure that everybody's aware. And my last real attack is we're playing four Coffee Samba. This card says, I'm going to draw two cards, and then... Uh, it'll get stun. I'll draw two cards so that you can draw two cards, and then it'll get stun X equal to the cards in my opponent's hand. Sometimes it can get anywhere from stun two to like stun seven, depending on how defensive my opponent is playing. And it is just the, a really good lead in attack in order to make all of these things hit. Not to mention it has multiple X, which make turns my momentum into copies of this attack. And so maybe I have three momentum because I've smacked you a bit. I play the Coffee Samba, multiple three. Well, now I have four seven damage attacks because of Bakugo all swinging at you. And then my last attack of the game, if we can call it that, is uh, four fatality. And the reason we're playing four fatality is because I have a specific action inside of our deck that mandates I have a momentum in order for it to, to work. And so if I want to go in on turn two and make sure that my cool action gets to work, I have to have a free momentum. And the easiest way to do that is to have four fatality. So, on to the actions and assets. We are playing four covert intent. Covert intent says... Um, I will discard the momentum and clear my card pool, clear both players' card pool, and we'll both draw equal to the number of cards that were cleared that way. So the reason we're playing four covert intent, honestly, is because it's a really good low check for my uh, my Hellfire impalement. I have no problem discarding these from the top of my deck in order to draw additional cards, as well as it helps me keep my card pool clear. Yeah, maybe I did multiple three you, but maybe I multiple two'd instead, and uh, instead of using that extra multiple to try and do damage, I'm going to play the covert intent because it doesn't count towards progressive difficulty. Clear those three cards, draw up a fresh new hand, and then kill you. Up next for more aggressive cards, we're playing four Big Shot Punch. Um, this thing says that my attack gets plus three damage, or your attack gets minus three damage, and I get to pick up a copy of Big Shot Judy. But more importantly, this card, every time that you play a card in universes, you have to make a control check. And if you make a control check, a card goes into your discard pile. If I happen to control check the loser, I'm going to burn you for an additional two vitality. 
So we're playing four punch, but we're also playing four Judy for that same thing. Instead of punch giving damage, Judy gives speed, plus three speed or minus three speed, and then pick up a, a copy of punch. So on one attack, because of four punch, four Judy, I can make nine checks, including the attack that I played. Nine extra cards going to my discard pile. On to the foundations. We're playing for a loser. The point of the deck. The whole the whole rigmarole is all for this card right here. I think this card is really, really cool. One of one of my favorite designed cards inside of the uh, the set. It makes me just want to play Bakugo because it has a Bakugo response. Why wouldn't I want to play the guy? If this card's so cool, I got to play the guy. Got to play the guy. <clears throat> Up next, we're playing four Aggressive Temper. This card has a very similar response to uh, Loser, but instead of uh, them losing two Vitality, my attack is just going to get two additional damage. Up next, for more aggressive cards, we're playing four Soul of the Sword. This card just says, enhance, discard the top three cards of my deck. My attack will get plus one damage. So maybe it'll get plus one damage and another two damage, and maybe it'll burn them for an additional two. Really depends on what I hit. I just want to get as much cards, many cards in my discard pile as possible. We're playing four Transform Prints. The real reason we're playing tran four Transform Prints is this is just an additional draw one off of the Hellfire Impalement. It is considered a two check on the board. Um, it is a zero two, but it has a response after it's checked to play a non-attack card. Yeah, correct. Uh, my check gets plus three. So it's actually a zero five with a really good one mid block. Um, and also, if I happen to have uh, re cards removed from the game, it can also give damage if I check it off the top. But that doesn't mean that I did check a two on that attack. And so it doesn't feel it doesn't feel great. <laughs> We're playing four Folktale Storyteller. This card does two things for us. Number one, it is really easy to check poorly inside of this deck. Every attack inside of our deck, except for the fatalities, are all twos or ones. And so it's possible that I, I don't have enough foundations if I check poorly on a an attack. I'm just going to end my turn. Well, Folktale Storyteller, if I have at least two foundations, I can... Uh, discard the top three cards of the of my deck and then build it into my staging area um let's say that i drew three or four cards off of the hellfire impalement and i drew two folktale storytelling oh well i'll just build the two free foundations uh i i need to <laughs> i gotta have them in here for for something you know we're playing three of the Azure Nightmare, kind of in the same guard as Folktale Storyteller. Um, oh no, I checked poorly. I'll commit this Azure Nightmare. I'll draw up with the um, Hellfire Impalement. Well, I'll discard one of these cards that I don't necessarily need, including possibly a loser, burn them for two vitality, and then ready back up my Azure Nightmare. And it is, we are back ready for business. Up next, we're playing Triple Goro's Victory Pose. This card is just to make sure that my opponent can't do cool things during my attack. Um, I need to make sure that my ability can happen, so enhanced flip actions can't be played. One of the one of the best disruptive tools in the games is, is a card like Revoke, right? And so I don't I need my ability to work. So the big thing is uh, flipping this says that neither of us can play actions. So if I am planning on on a big punch and Judy loop, maybe save the Goro's Victory Pose until afterwards. Up next, we're playing Triple Wishing Ward. This is more discard uh, manipulation, enhance, flip, discard the top three. My opponent discards momentum. As you can tell, there, we are almost done to the deck, and there's almost no defense. Um, in fact, there is no defense. I don't need to block when a... The, the easiest way to block is to make sure that you're dead. That's a very Bakugo way of looking at it. Um, and so making sure that they don't have momentum in order to, to hurt me is important, as well as just discard the top three cards. Oh, look, here's an extra loser. Here, we'll burn two additional vitality. And then my last card is Triple Inhuman Speed. The reason we're playing this card is response after my opponent plays an ability that will gain vitality. Cancel it, they lose two. Um, one of the easiest ways to beat this deck is to constantly stay ahead of the loser burn. And so if they attempt to not take the loser burn, or they will gain their vitality off of something, um, I'm just going to say no. And then with things like Hellfire Impalement, I can ready my card back up. It is a little bit of an accurate card as well. If I do happen to have some momentum, I can give up to plus three speed. But that is such a not worth ability. The more important part is I can stop them from gaining life. I'll make them lose two of it, additional vitality, and it is a zero five. Really good for building on turn one. All right, and so there you go. If you liked this deck, make sure that you let me down, know down in the comments down below. Like, share this deck with any of your My Hero uh, fans, your friends, um, and make sure you check out all the other content here on the channel. Um, lastly, 
like I said at the top, if you want to support us, please go to patreon.com slash tcduniversity and talk to us uh, here in the staff. We absolutely love all the, all the characters from the My Hero set, and I would love to sit down and talk for, to you about your, your Bakugo deck. Cause that sounds really fun. So, from all of us here at TCG University, thank you very much for watching the profile, and stay learned. <laughs>